Somewhere along the way, we went from idolizing celebrities to obsessing over them. We put athletes, actors, and musicians up high on a pedestal and eat up everything they say, with millions of followers watching their every move. We turn them into pitch men to hawk products, knowing with their endorsement, the big bucks will flow right in. <laughs> we have them give our graduation speeches, idolizing them as role models, trying to learn the secrets of their success. Thank you for inviting me to celebrate with you today. Tisch graduates, you made it. <laughs> and you're f <laughs> And since we're always putting them in the spotlight, these celebrities think everything they say is so important, so they never shut up, especially when it comes to politics. A-listers love getting involved in the theater of it all, the back and forth, the fights between the left and the right. But big shocker here, almost everything they have to say is completely one-sided. Nowhere was that more clear than in the Trump years. From his campaign through his entire presidency, we heard more from the rich and famous than ever before. A quick recap of their message. Orange man bad, and America will be destroyed to bits and pieces if he stays in power. All in an attempt to convince America that conservatives have to go. There was everything from Oscar winners threatening violence. Today, the world is suffering from the real Donald Trump. This idiot is the president. How dare he say the things he does? Of course I want to punch him in the face. Right. To washed up pop singers looking to take up arson. 15. I'm angry. Yes, I am outraged. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. And it wasn't just the queen of pop. Kathy Griffin got in on the action when she shared this photo of Trump's bloody and decapitated head. And these are just a few examples of the endless list of celebrities who couldn't stop slamming Donald Trump. But this is nothing new for our outspoken celebrity culture. They were spewing all kinds of crazy BS when George Bush was in office, too. Like Kanye West, saying George Bush doesn't like black people. To the Dixie Chicks, trashing our former commander-in-chief. We're ashamed the President of the United States is from Texas. These people have real influence over the country's young minds, especially newer generations. So when they speak out, it has the power to influence a lot of people. But instead of using that power for good, they've spent it going off on Republicans. When it comes to real kitchen table issues, like inflation, for example, they're completely quiet. A-listers are only outspoken when Republicans are in office. When things get really bad for the everyday American, they're nowhere to be found. The Biden administration broke another all-time record high today as the U.S. average for a gallon of gas hit 467. It just keeps climbing up and up and up, and Americans are struggling. So where's the De Niro tweet calling for lower gas prices? Crickets. The cost of everyday essentials like beef, pork, bread, all up across the country. The stock market in a bear market right now. But we don't see any pop singers or movie stars slamming Biden when Americans can't put groceries on their table. Where are all the female Hollywood A-listers begging Biden to get baby formula back on the shelves, huh? When it comes to anything with substance, these people are as quiet as a church mouse. Maybe they're silent on inflation because it doesn't apply to them. Do you really think inflation's hurting De Niro or Kim Kardashian? Of course it's not. They're sitting pretty, not a care in the world. What about the crime wave rippling across the country right now? Murders, robberies, assaults, all up in major cities. We've been seeing violence take a toll on Americans this past year. And as the summer comes, it's only going to get worse. Where's Leonardo DiCaprio on that? 
The weirdest part about it is that the celebrities are actually victims of this crime wave. And they're still, even then, not even speaking up about it. Actor Owen Wilson was a victim of grand theft. He just had the tires stolen off his Tesla, right in front of his Santa Monica home. The damages amount to over four G's. So you'd think Wilson would have quite a few things to say about crime in California as it hits his own home. Nope. No tweet on deep blue California's crime failures. No interview calling out Biden or the DA. Nothing. I'm sorry, don't listen to me. One masculine. I've been spaced out all day. But Wilson sure was willing to speak on Trump, calling him the Charlie Sheen of politics in 2015. And we know what a train wreck Sheen is. Obviously, not a compliment. Lady Gaga was the victim of a dog napping and Early 2021, her French bulldogs were stolen by three armed thugs in Hollywood, and her dog walker was shot in the chest. She offered half a million dollars reward to get the dogs back. So, why isn't Gaga going cuckoo about the soft on crime policies that led to her pooch getting snatched? Someone she hired was left with a hole in their chest, but Gaga has nothing to say now. Poker face. But Lady Gaga was first in line to support Biden for president in 2020, hopping on the campaign trail and giving him her endorsement. This is Lady Gaga. I'm voting for America, which means I'm voting for Joe Biden. Okay. And the list goes on and on. When rapper and producer Dr. Dre was in the hospital for a brain aneurysm last January, robbers tried to ransack his house. Mad at me because I can finally afford to provide my family with groceries. Got a crib with a studio and a saw full of tracks to add to the wall full of plaques. I guess they wanted all that stuff. But instead of calling out crime, Dr. Dre has no prescription for the chaos. And now celebrities are actually downplaying the attacks. Comedian Seth Rogen said crime's really not an issue. In November, he got into a little Twitter fight with a YouTube guy whose car was broken into in LA. And Rogan says it happens to him all the time. No big deal. Quote, I've never really felt violated any of the 15 or so times my car was broken into. Once a guy accidentally left a cool knife in my car, so if it keeps happening, you might get a little treat. Rogan's trying to normalize crime, but most people don't like their car getting broken into 15 times, and they can't afford it anyway. And where the hell's Hollywood on the homelessness in California? They have to see it as they cruise by in their cars. Where's the compassion? These thespians are supposed to be the most compassionate people on the planet. But they just zip by this rat-infested encampment, and they don't offer a single line about it? But let's get down to the real reason why Hollywood's biggest names aren't speaking out about the issues that affect you. Because that wouldn't help their agenda. And their agenda isn't your agenda. Their agenda is looking woke backing liberal politicians and staying politically correct. If all that nonsense hurts you, the crime, the inflation, they don't care. And if they speak out in Hollywood against Biden and the Democrats, they'll get isolated. Their roles will dry up and their career will suffer. So their career is more important than your life and your livelihood. They're plenty rich. It doesn't matter. And it's more clear than ever celebrities don't actually care about the country. They just care about the politics. And they still continue to fundraise for the left. All the governors, the mayors, the president, they're trying to sell you their version of America because they want to rewrite it. And they don't have you in mind. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.